Welcome to Healthy Cooking with Chef Jeff today. Today uh, I'm on the square again here in town at La in LaGrange, my hometown. Uh, today we're doing a show featuring Mother's Day, some of the things that men can do for their wives for Mother's Day, or uh, young men and young women that can do it for their mothers or grandmothers or, or whatnot. But it's light and healthy and simple food that anybody, I think anybody can do uh, because I want to keep it simple because nobody likes staying in the kitchen all day on Mother's Day. They want to spend time with the family members and the families that come in, the best friends and all that. So it's a time of gathering, Mother's Day is, uh, and honoring, honoring our mothers. Let's face it, they, they are the household leaders in, in everybody's house. Uh, and some men may say different, but you know, it is what it is. Uh, but the first thing I'm gonna do today is I'm gonna make a salad, a healthy salad, and it's gonna have some mandarin oranges, strawberries, and some blueberries. Something simple with uh, mixed greens. And what I'm gonna first do is take this bowl I got right here, and, and I got some fresh strawberries right here, and some blueberries here, fresh blueberries, and some canned mandarin oranges with a little bit of a little bit of the juice left in it. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take the juice, whisk it a little bit with, uh, with the, uh, a little bit of olive oil. And I'm not gonna put any seasoning in it other than the oranges itself. And that's gonna be our dressing. And I'm not adding any uh, vinegar to it because that'll be a vinaigrette. It's just an oil and juice type dressing. I want to keep it simple and just toss it. All right. Let me put my gloves on and stuff. And you may notice I got a griddle pan over here getting good and hot. Uh, for the simple fact, I got some pork, some pork loin. I'm going to sear them bad boys off, season them, and I'm going to make a good meal with those guys there. Something that'll look good on the plate. And I also got some fresh asparagus, pencil asparagus, uh, for the fact that uh, that would be our vegetable, something light, so you wouldn't be in the kitchen all, all day. All right, okay. Here's my mixed greens. And mixed greens, you can buy in the grocery store, uh, any of them. They all carry them now, uh, that there. Now, Here's what I'm going to start doing. The nice mandarin oranges. I'm going to take a few of them out. You know, I'm going to take just a little bit of that juice. Uh, I'm, I'm going to be a little greedy. Add a few more oranges to it. I'm going to take this whisk. And I'm gonna mash them up just a little bit. Try to get more of that natural juice out of the mandarin orange. Some people like to blend it, but you know, crushing it with a whisk works just as well as blending. You just take a little bit. And you can see, you can see it begin to blend up a little bit more in the natural pulp from a mandarin orange. Let me hold my head up so people can see my face. Natural pulp from a mandarin orange. And you add just a little bit of olive oil to it. Now, mandarin oranges are naturally sweet. And then just add just a little bit of oil to it. That there. And I'm gonna blend it up just like that. No salt, no pepper, no sugar, no vinegar, none of that, because I want it to be just as natural as possible and as simple as possible. And I want to drizzle it over this just a little bit, like that. Set that to the side. 
take a pair of tongs, and just toss it just a little bit. And you probably say, well, this is a dry salad for those people who used to having a drench salad, a salad with a lot of dressing on it. But as you can see, I'm mixing this real well so those oranges in that oil can get all over the lettuce itself. And that flavor is there. And this is something you can probably do five minutes before you serve your meal. So all those flavors of that mandarin orange should be all over these tender cuts of uh, lettuce that there. And I already pre-washed my blueberries and just drop a few of them in here. And my salad. I'm gonna take a few of these nice big strawberries and I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna slice these guys. Uh, I don't eat strawberries personally. Uh, that's just me. Watermelon and strawberry, I, I'm not, never been a big fan of it. But, and to put these guys in there, and you can cut it however way you want, however way you like. And this is a salad that takes no time to make. It got good color to it. It got spring-like colors to it. That's there. That is something you can serve as a group or if you want to do plate it, you can plate this like so. Move this knife out the way. And take a few strawberries, put on there. Any way you want. Get a few of these guys out. And just add color to it. A lot of people eat with their eyes. That way, it's a nice little salad. It got the blueberries in it. I'm gonna give these guys a couple more blueberries. That's a light, light little salad. It's nice, that's the presentation. And I'm gonna set him to the side right here for a little bit while I get started on the main start of the meal. And I hope people out there on Facebook, if we Facebook Live watching us, and a welcome, I should say, for those followers I have on Facebook. And I always try to catch, us, catch the show on uh, LaGrange TV if you can, or, you know, on YouTube, if you can, catch us on that, those, those shows there. We, we, we try to do a good meal, good presentation for people to learn something and eat healthy from, all right? Now, I'm gonna go ahead and put my pork on. I already got it seasoned here, cause these guys, mm, I like pork, I like, a good piece of pork, a good cut of pork, okay? I already got it seasoned, and I got it seasoned with a little bit of salt, pepper, and garlic salt. And a little bit of, of course, I use olive oil on it. I'm gonna do a few pieces here. And when it come to selecting the right piece of cut support, I got center cut pork and you can see the center cut and it still has all the fat remnants around it. That fat gonna give you that flavor and those juices that, that, that you're looking for. All right. And then I'm putting one more on and as you can notice, this one got good marble in it. I don't know if the camera can see that or not, but it got good marble and marble is what makes it real tender 
inflatable for you. All right, and it got a lot, a lot of good flavor to it. Okay, we'll set these guys to the side. While they're doing their thing, I'm gonna prepare some rice. Uh, this rice is just a simple rice. I pre-cooked the rice. I'm gonna add some uh, peppers, onions, and all that to it. Uh, and I got those right here. It's gonna be a pilaf rice. Uh, pilaf is just rice and vegetables mixed together. All right. And I'm just gonna saute it together. And then I put the pork with it and, and stuff. And it's pretty windy out here today too. It's a good day. It's not blazing hot like the last time I was on the square. All right. Uh, put me a little oil in here. Reason why I'm putting the oil in there, so it tempers my pan. So when I put my vegetables in there to get them sauteed just a little bit to get them ready. Okay. And then I will put my rice. My rice is already pre-cooked and stuff. I got a mess going on on my board. All right, this wind, man, this wind is giving me a challenge here. And this is my rice. My rice is pre-cooked and it has a chicken stock so it'll have some flavor to it. So I don't have to add salt, pepper, and all that to it. Chicken stock sometimes have a little salt to it already and stuff. Wow, it didn't take long for this pan to get hot. And as you can see, I got two flavors of peppers and some green onions in this pan right here. And uh, what I want to do is get those peppers kind of tender and that onion, that flavor of the onion will come out. So when you taste it, all the flavor will be directly in the rice and in the vegetables. All right. Now, I'm going to add my rice to it. The last time I think I was on the show, I did a cilantro rice. And this is just a different rice, a rice pilaf. But of course, you know, if you just like plain rice, just pre-cook it. You can, I cook mine in the oven instead of on top of the stove. Sometimes, you know, if I don't have a choice, then I cook it on top of the stove. Uh, you can see all that color begin to come there. And I'm not using any water. Because I, I just want the flavor and the color and the texture of that rice. And that looked jazzy right there. That looked real jazzy. And I hope some of the viewers out there, if you're in New York, California, or Cleveland, Ohio, or Atlanta, Georgia, watching the show, or even Miami, Florida. We got friends down there. Uh, we do a lot. Now, back to my pork over here. It began to, I can get him up. And as you can see, these guys, man, that's looking real good. Smell of vision. If there's a such thing as smell a vision, you'll love that. And to good, cook a good pork, it doesn't take long. Alvin, if you're watching somewhere, I hope you was on the square so you can taste this. And uh, Keith, I know you're a firefighter now. This is what you're missing out on. So I wish you was here. Uh, I miss you guys, and a good old friend of mine from, from a while back, Lieutenant Chris Taylor. This is what you're missing out on, all right? And I wish our city managers would come down and see the feast that I got going on here, because I don't know about anybody else. I'm going to eat on the air this time, 
Uh, I don't normally do that, but right here, I got my asparagus. I'm gonna go ahead and put my asparagus on here too with my pork because that pork give off a fat giving off a fat that I need to grill my asparagus with. And if anybody ever had pork off a, off a grill, especially a tenderloin, you know what I'm talking about. And as you can see, I'm putting my asparagus directly in this pan. So when it cooks, It'll be just right. Because I also got a few pears. And what I'm gonna do with these pears, I'm gonna grill these pears on this grill also. So that way it'll be like a garnish for the pork. The flavor of a pear and pork kind of go hand in hand. Uh, this is something I used to do years ago, cooking. But normally I make a red wine sauce or something like that to, to toss the pears in. And you do a reduction and stuff from the pear juice in the, in the wine and slow cook them. But this time I'm just gonna sear them and get the natural sugar from the pears onto the pork. All right. And some people are like, he always got these little small burners. I don't know how he does it with these little small burners, but they work. They work. Yeah, if you're a camper or anything like that, if you like camping, these are some of your best friends right here if you want to keep it simple and eat in a hurry. Man, this wind is beating me up out here, but it's okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna fight back just a little bit. If you can catch that natural juice coming out of that pork and the natural juice coming out of this one right here, I hope I can squeeze some and put it on here. You can see that, 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 that right there. That's what, that's, that's heaven. All right, all right. Now, what I'm finna do is take one of these, put over top of that. All right, that's not good. That's not good at all. I'm glad they didn't hurt themselves. And you may notice I'm putting the pears this way. on that grill. If you got a small griddle pan like this, you can get these purchased anywhere uh, that sells cast iron skillets. You can get those, those of heaven when you get your pan nice and hot. They give you a good grilling season, grilling pan. You know, grandma always have that one skillet that she cook cornbread in or, or bake in and stuff. This is my one skillet. All right. Now the plate presentation, I'm gonna go ahead and put the plate presentation together for this. As you can see, it took about 15 minutes, prep time, 10 minutes. So to cook this product, all right. I'm gonna start with my rice. My rice is gonna be my base. All right, now, that asparagus. And I always want to put my vegetable on there first, on there next. Man, look at that, look at that flavor. Look at the goldenness to the pear. 
you would think. And this is a canned product. You could take fresh. Fresh is even better. But I took a canned product and doing this with. Man, look at there. Look at the heaven on that. Those grill marks and that searness to it. Now I'm finna lay my pork. And anytime you're doing plate presentation, you want your meat to be ready cut on the plate and their starches and stuff. I'm, I'm, I'm having a hard time. You see the plate presentation on that? And take these guys, lay them across the top, like so. When you cut into a pear on top of pork, there's a little bit of heaven. And I'm gonna be, I like fruit. Fruit is always good for you, especially blueberries. A few of these guys up top. Normally I would saute some blueberries and put on there. That's a pretty plate presentation for Mother's Day. And I hope everybody out there enjoying it. Uh, I, I would like to get some feedback from, from our Facebook friends or just in general. All right. This is that beautiful salad. That's a good combination. If you go into a restaurant for Mother's Day, you, you expect to spend good money for a product like this. But this is something you can do yourself at home and not fight that big old crowd in all those restaurants and still have a glass of wine or whatever you want to do in your own home. If it's just two of you, this is something that takes you some time, a little time to do, and you can spend quality time with each other. All right, and this is my version of a grilled pork loin with pears and rice pilaf and grilled asparagus and a short version of a mixed green salad with fruit and using the natural juices of the fruit itself to make the dressing. So everything that I have I use over and over again. All right.